You know, I recognize that we've had our few conversations in the past talking about this guy and saying, hey, he might be overrated. Why is he getting nominated for this award? Why are people not talking about this other guy who is not a Toronto Maple Leafs prospect? But I'll say this. At the end of the day, even though we made our videos kind of talking the smack a little bit about this guy, I always kind of knew, yeah, he would be good. But believe me, when I say he will be good, I didn't necessarily think he would be this good this early. Let's have a conversation about the newest inserted player into the Maple Leafs lineup for Game 2 against the Tampa Bay Lightning with the departure of Michael Bunting due to the suspension. You had yourselves Matt Nyes, prospect who was nominated for the Hobie Baker and one of the more hyped-up prospects in the NHL make his playoff debut with the team. Now, I'll go out there on a limb and just spoil it all for you. Hey, he played three games with the Maple Leafs in the regular season to end off 22-23. He had one assist, and in this playoff game against the Lightning, he didn't score a point. But that does not change the impact that Matthew Nyes had in this game. It doesn't change the level of comfort that we had seen out of this young 20-year-old forward who was just coming over to Toronto from the NCAA. This is a guy who came over fresh from competing for a national championship into doing what it is that he's been doing with the Maple Leafs, and it's been so crazy to see, but he actually fits, and he fits really, really well. Matt Nyes, if you want to go over just the entire profile, let's cover our bases and make sure we do this properly here. 6'3", 209, left-handed left-wing player, and he has been primarily noted ever since his NCAA days as a premier power forward. Not to mention the fact that he's got some pretty good skill, he's got some quick feet, and an overall offensive package that when you combine all the individual aspects of his game, combines for just such a complete, capable, and competent player. When it comes to offense, he can score. When it comes to defense, he's good on the boards. He's good at playing the right way in his own zone. And for a guy who had displayed this level of maturity as early on in his NCAA career as Nice had had, you had yourselves many Maple Leafs fans in the process kind of hyping this guy up and saying, hey, he's going to be really good. Look at this guy. He got 33 points in 33 NCAA games as a freshman with the Gophers. That's awesome. And then you had all the trade conversations in the offseason. Hey, the Maple Leafs are trying to go out there and get some guys. The Maple Leafs are going to try to bolster their team at the trade deadline. Do you see Matthew Nyes potentially being the big fish player getting sent over because he had such a good year in the NCAA. He had such a good stage internationally. He played for Team USA at the Olympics and the World Juniors. So there was so much hype about this guy. And if that's the case, then why not go out there and think about the options of trading him? But that was never really something that was going to happen because even though Matthew Nyes was the logical choice for a lot of NHL people to look at Toronto trade ideas, it was always sort of an idea within the Maple Leafs fan base themselves that said, hey, we're not trading Nyes. Like, this guy is too good to try trading away. And we're going to stand by that assessment through and through until he makes his NHL debut and he proves it. Well, good golly gee, he's gone out there and he's proven it. Sure, in the game that he played against Tampa Bay, Game 2, by the way, crazy good game, crazy bounce back game, we're not going to have a conversation about Corey Perry and the referees and the fans in the box and them getting kicked out and everything. We're not going to talk about that stuff or any of the other stuff. I mean, Tavares Hattrick, you have all the points. Of course, 7-2 is better than 7-3. But what I did want to talk about was Matt Nyes, because when it came to the way this guy was able to perform, for some reason, when you watch Nyes play the game, you don't look at that player and you say, yeah, that's a 20-year-old rookie who is just coming off a sophomore season in the NCAA and coming off of a national championship game in the collegiate system. Nah, that's not that guy. That's a guy who just knows what the freak he is doing, what he needs to do, and how he's able to get it done at this level against the best competition in the world, arguably 
against one of the top teams in the world. Sure, there's no Victor Hedman, but the point remains. Matthew Nyes legitimately had one of the better games out of the Maple Leafs players in this showcase, and you could see it right from the get-go. The guy had his quick feet moving, the guy was able to force pucks into the middle and get shooting opportunities on goal. Sure, he didn't score anything, but here's a tweet from Nick that goes out there and talks about what the impact was that he had. In his NHL playoff debut, Matt Nyes had an 84.9% expected goals for percentage, two shots on goal, and he tied with the team's lead in five hits. I don't think he plans on watching from the press box again for a while. And to those who need the explanation, expected goals for percentage pretty much means when you are on the ice, let's tally all the expected goals that are scored, or not scored, but just happening when you're playing, and we'll tally it up and ratio it. So pretty much, if you tried to map it out, when Matthew Nyes was on the ice, the Maple Leafs had 84% of the chances that should have been goals, in comparison to the Lightning only having about 15%, which pretty much translates to Matthew Nyes being good doing the right things to get the puck into the zone and making plays happen, and doing the right things in his own zone to prevent Tampa from getting their mojo going on. Here's another tweet that I wanted to go out there and read. It's Elliot Friedman talking about this guy. He's the real deal, and now you see why the Leafs were not moving him. This is a player that, after just a few shifts, he had a lot of Leafs fans saying, wait a minute, when Michael Bunting comes back, this is not the guy you're going to take out of the lineup. It's not Matthew Nyes, because this guy, playing with Ryan O'Reilly, had himself such a great opportunity to impress, and he impressed and exceeded expectations, expanding on the offense and defensive games that both Ryan O'Reilly and Noel Ashari had. This was a pretty good pairing, and I'm honestly kind of dumbfounded to see Matthew Nyes do as well as he's been able to do this early. Like, Sure, he was good in the NCAA, getting point-per-game seasons, etc., etc., but he was playing on one of the most stacked lines in the entire NCAA. He was playing with Logan Cooley, and they were both nominated for the Hobie Baker, and you had other guys on his team that still outproduced him, so there was the benefit of the doubt there. But when push comes to shove, and you tell Matthew Nyes to play in the NHL against a Tampa team... Ramp up the physicality, put some pucks on goal, and use your quick feet to make sure you're able to keep up? Matthew Nyes went out there and had himself a game, and if he continues this heading into the next few games, there is no reason for him to come out and sit out anymore. So, thoughts in the comment section below about Matthew Nyes and his Game 2 against Tampa Bay. Again, there were so many other things we could talk about in regards to the game itself and the Series 2. It's now tied 1-1. And I'm very intrigued as to seeing where things are going to go. Now it's Tampa Bay with the home ice advantage, right? Yeah, because you've got five games remaining and it starts out with the two back-to-back -back in Tampa. But either way, are you surprised with how Nice plays? Were you kind of expecting him to do this well? For me personally, just thinking about the stakes and the circumstance, oh, he has to come in here and replace Michael Bunting. That's a pretty big task considering the magnitude of player that Bunting is, right? Well... Okay, he went out there and showed off that he doesn't care about the pressure. He was still good, and he was still Matthew Nyes. So, if you have any extra thoughts about Nyes in his debut, let me know in the comments all your thoughts and opinions about that. Also, if you want to talk about anything else related to the Leafs and Lightning Game 2, then I guess you could bring it up as well. It's not really the main topic of the video, but I'll leave it in the comment section either way. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.